Not everyone is aware of how and what they eat. Because of this, many people suffer from degenerative diseases, which are caused by bad lifestyle choices. Too much fat in food can cause the body's cholesterol levels to rise. High cholesterol is the primary reason for heart diseases, being overweight and high blood pressure etc. Considering how serious the damage that high cholesterol can be to your health, it is very important that people be mindful of what they can or cannot eat in order to maintain a lower cholesterol level in accordance with what the human body is required to have. People who suffer from high blood pressure should have a healthy diet which can help them lower blood pressure and neutralize the effects of hypertension on their body. What is the first thing to consider in a low cholesterol diet? Knowing the purpose of a low cholesterol diet will make you adhere to it more sincerely. Then before indulging in any strict diet, low cholesterol diet included, you have to know why some foods are safe to eat and why some are not. However, a lifestyle change that would include a good cholesterol diet as a first step would work best. In this video, you will learn the top foods to lower cholesterol and high blood pressure. If you suffer from high cholesterol, there is one simple secret ingredient that you must cut from your diet to alleviate all symptoms of high cholesterol. To learn more about this ingredient, and how to cure your high cholesterol once and for all, click the first link in the description below. If you suffer from high blood pressure or hypertension, click the second link in the description to learn how to permanently eliminate your hypertension in 9 minutes or less. You'll be able to read more life-changing strategies to help you get your life back. Before we get started, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Also, comment, I subscribed, below. As this helps YouTube share this video with more people that may suffer from high cholesterol and high blood pressure, and would love to learn these foods to help as well. Thank you. Here are the foods to lower cholesterol and high blood pressure. Almonds. If you're on the hunt for a snack, consider picking up some almonds. Population studies have shown that consistent intake of almonds reduces risk of heart disease by improving cholesterol levels, maintaining HDL and lowering LDL. Apples. Science agrees, an apple a day may in fact keep your cardiologist away. Evidence has shown that frequent apple consumption may reduce total cholesterol. That's thanks to the phenolic compounds found in apple skins, aka the antioxidant compounds that promote healthy cellular function and proper blood flow. Avocado. Because they're rich in heart-healthy unsaturated fats and fiber, avocados can help reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke. Clinical trials have consistently found that eating avocados can lower your LDL cholesterol, with a beneficial effect on lipid and lipoprotein profiles. Avocado Oil Extracted from the pulp of the avocado fruit, avocado oil carries many of the same benefits, it's loaded with heart-healthy monounsaturated fats which can help reduce high blood pressure and cholesterol. Bananas Bananas lower cholesterol by removing it from your digestive system, preventing it from moving into your bloodstream and clogging your arteries. For an extra heart-healthy boost, slice bananas on top of morning oats with a tablespoon of chia seeds. Black beans. Black beans are even more fiber-dense, with 8 grams in a half cup, 100 calorie serving. You'll get plenty of filling plant-based protein too. Blueberries. Some studies have connected eating blueberries regularly with decreased blood pressure. That's thanks to their circulation-boosting effect on blood vessels otherwise known as, vasodilation, which slows the rate of atherosclerosis. Buckwheat, barley, and bulgur. These fiber-rich grains provide similar cholesterol-lowering benefits as oats, but our favorite thing about bee grains is their versatility. Try buckwheat noodles or buckwheat flour in pancakes, barley in soups, and bulgur in salads and cereal for a healthy dose of soluble fiber. Cherries. A cherry gets its color from anthocyanin, a type of phytonutrient with powerful antioxidant capabilities. Try adding frozen cherries to morning smoothies or tossing dried, unsweetened cherries with salads. Chia seeds. Looking for a vegetarian form of omega-3s? Chia seeds are full of the fatty acid, as well as fiber, protein, and antioxidants. They can be consumed whole or added to soups, cereal, smoothies, 
puddings, and even baked goods. Corn oil. This overlooked cooking oil belongs in your pantry because it contains plant sterols, compounds that decrease how much cholesterol-raising saturated fat your body absorbs. Plus, it's packed with antioxidants like other plant-based oils, canola, olive, grapeseed, peanut, safflower, sunflower, and avocado. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is a naturally sweet treat you should feel great about. It contains more cocoa than other chocolate products, which provides higher amounts of flavonoids in each serving, a boon for your cardiovascular system. A 2017 study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association found that eating dark chocolate, as well as almonds, improved blood lipid profiles over time. Try to select a dark chocolate product that is at least 75% concentrated or higher, says Stefani Sassos, MS, Rode, a registered dietitian with the Good Housekeeping Institute. Edamame. While research has linked soybeans, tofu, and soy milk with lower cholesterol, this healthy snack is another delicious way to help decrease bad cholesterol by replacing other proteins typically high in saturated fat. Since edamame is also full of fiber, it can help curb cravings too. Eggplant. This nightshade has been linked to reducing oxidative stress in a 2015 review article published in Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine. Stress can lead to high cholesterol by initiating chronic inflammation and plaque form. Flax seeds. A great source of fiber, flax seeds are also chock full of omega-3 fatty acids and lignans, which is another plant-based compound that can holistically lower your risk of stroke, per research published in Nutrition Reviews. These are all nutrients that the American Heart Association recommends for improving heat health. Plus, flax seeds contain phytosterols which can help reduce LDL cholesterol in the body. Grapes. Like other produce, grapes contain polyphenolic compounds that may reduce cellular damage. Eating about 1 to 2 cups of grapes per day can also help protect your tissues and decrease markers of inflammation. Herbs and Spices. Flavor foods with herbs and spices whenever you can. It'll help you cut back on condiments high in saturated fat while maximizing flavor. Spices and herbs also pack antioxidants, which can help improve cholesterol levels when combined with veggies. Ones we love, basil, cilantro, rosemary, sage, ginger, garlic, tarragon, black and red chili pepper, mint, and oregano. Hummus. Fiber, especially the soluble kind in beans, is linked with improved heart health. And chickpeas give one of the best cholesterol-lowering boosts. Just one-third cup of chickpeas contains about 12 grams of fiber, half your daily value. What's more, these hearty beans are packed with antioxidants and associated with lower LDLs. Kale. Potassium, magnesium, antioxidants, fiber, kale hits the heart-healthy jackpot. The minerals in cruciferous vegetables including cabbage and brussels sprouts especially can counterbalance the effects of sodium warding off hypertension lentils lentils are pulses aka the dry edible seeds of certain crops like beans chickpeas and peas pulses are just everywhere these days because they're packed with plant-based protein and fiber not to mention antioxidants minerals and b vitamins all of those compounds help protect you from plaque buildup while optimizing blood flow and assisting your body in efficiently using the nutrients you consume. Oats. Oats contain a type of soluble fiber called beta-glucan, which is linked with lowering LDL levels, according to the British Journal of Nutrition. It does this by absorbing water in your GI tract and removing excess saturated fat before it enters your bloodstream. Okra. A low-calorie veggie that's perfect as a healthy weeknight side, okra is an especially heart-healthy soluble fiber. It's another good source of polyphenols, which fights inflammation naturally as part of a balanced diet. Olives and olive oil. This Mediterranean diet staple is chock-full of monounsaturated fatty acids, the type of fat linked with improving total cholesterol levels. Specific compounds in olives may also limit the initiation of the inflammatory process, another high cholesterol-promoting risk factor. Peanut butter. Peanuts pack resveratrol and other phytosterols, compounds linked with blocking cholesterol absorption in the gut. 
The protein powerhouses also work in 8 grams in just 2 tablespoons of peanut butter. Pecans. Pecans are chock full of monounsaturated fatty acids, a type of fat linked with improving total cholesterol levels. Another benefit of these tasty tree nuts. Pecans are filled with plant-based antioxidants, including beta-carotene and vitamin E, that protect cells from damage from chronic inflammation. Pistachios. Research has linked pistachios with raising HDL cholesterol while lowering LDL cholesterol. Since these nuts are fiber-rich and antioxidant-packed, they also protect your body's cells from oxidative stress, the damage that allows for plaque buildup in your arteries. Potatoes. A baked potato actually provides more heart-healthy potassium than a banana. Getting an adequate amount of this all-important nutrient can also lower blood pressure and reduce your risk of stroke and other cardiovascular diseases. Pumpkin. Low in calories but rich in fiber, pumpkin is an antioxidant-rich, seasonal swap for sweet potatoes. Quinoa. Cooking up more quinoa could lower your risk of heart disease by improving total cholesterol, triglycerides, and lowering LDL, according to recent research studies. That's thanks to the wholesome grains antioxidant, fiber, and B vitamin content that may improve blood flow. Raspberries. With 8 grams of fiber in just a cup, raspberries can move your numbers in the right direction. Eating adequate fiber, at least 25 grams per day, decreases LDL levels and supports healthy digestion. Salmon. As one of nature's best sources of omega-3 fatty acids, salmon has many health benefits, including reducing inflammation and triglycerides. Sardines. They may be small, but they're packed with omega-3s. Plus, sardines have less mercury than other fatty fish and come readily available in canned form. Just be sure to buy them packed in water, not oil. Sesame oil. Sesame oil is a lesser known source of the monounsaturated fats typically touted in olive oil and avocados. Swapping it in for cooking oil gives any saute or side dish a nutty flavor, so try it with snap peas, garlic, and ginger. Just remember, monounsaturated fats are still fats i.e., excess calories so make sure you're using a single tablespoon per serving. Spinach. Adding more leafy greens to your plate can help lower cholesterol by promoting your body production of nitric oxide, NO, which helps dilate blood vessels and reduce atherosclerosis. Strawberries. Polyphenols, which are plant-based compounds that naturally help to regulate your cardiovascular system, are found in high amounts in strawberries. Research has linked strawberries to a lower risk of heart disease due to their high polyphenol counts. Sweet potatoes and squash. Sweet potatoes, butternut squash, parsnip, and other good-for-you tubers are lower in calories, filled with fiber, and chock full of potassium and beta-carotene, both of which protect against heart disease. Tomatoes. Here's another potassium all-star, with vitamins A and C to boot. Tomatoes also contain the antioxidant lycopene, a compound linked to reducing LDL cholesterol levels in higher doses. Tuna. Whether you go fresh or canned, eating at least two servings of tuna per week can help slow the growth rate of plaque, according to the American Heart Association. The omega-3 fatty acids found in fish can also decrease triglyceride levels, another risk factor for heart disease. Unsweetened soy milk. Filled with plant-based antioxidants and minerals, this protein-packed dairy alternative can help improve your lipid levels. That's because it's lower in saturated fat than other vegan swaps, ahem, coconut oil. Unsweetened versions cut back on sneaky sources of added sugar, so use it in your morning latte for a cholesterol-lowering caffeine boost. Walnuts. Eating walnuts regularly was linked with a reduced risk of heart disease, according to data from the Nurses Health Study. Eating as little as one serving of these nuts each week can lower your chances of cardiovascular disease by up to 19%. Consider swapping walnuts for croutons in salads and soups, add them to breakfast cereal or yogurt, or nosh on walnuts with fruit to reap the cholesterol-lowering benefits. Bonus tip. High blood pressure occurs when fats, cholesterol, and nutrients in the food you eat start to accumulate along your artery walls. 
This narrowing of your arteries restricts the flow of your blood, increases your blood pressure, while making you more susceptible to heart attacks and strokes. If you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or high triglycerides, grapefruit has been found to reduce the effects of these conditions. So which is better yellow or red grapefruit? Well, in a study made where people who had a history of high cholesterol, those that ate the red grapefruit had the most effect in lower their blood pressure. The yellow also lowered blood pressure but not as much as the red grapefruit. It was found in this study that grapefruit had a better effect in lowering blood pressure than statin drugs. Red grapefruit are extra high in antioxidants and these nutrients are able to reduce your triglycerides, the yellow or not. Eat the red grapefruit when available and when it is not eat the yellow. Eat at least one, two per day. If you eat just before your meal or drink a glass of fresh grapefruit, you can expect to lose one or two pounds during the month. By eating two grapefruits a day expect to lose more weight. Eating grapefruit has many health benefits, but one other is in controlling your insulin level. Studies have shown that those that eat grapefruits have lower insulin and glucose levels in their blood. It is believed by researchers that grapefruit enzymes help to control insulin increases that happen after you eat. These enzymes help digest your food better and this results in less nutrients being stored as fat. Grapefruit has also been found to be cancer preventative. It's the phytonutrients, antioxidants, and especially lycopene that has been found helpful in preventing cancer. Grapefruits are high in fiber, vitamin C, vitamin A, and antioxidants, carotenoids, limonoid glucosides, flavin ones. You can buy red and yellow grapefruits from November to May here in the US. If you don't have any in your area go online and order some. Caution, if you are taking any drugs, do not eat grapefruits in combination with taking drugs. Grapefruit enhances the effect of drugs and can cause symptoms of overdose. We here at Live Healthy hope this video gave you value and helped you in your health journey. It would mean the world to us if you would subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Lastly, don't forget to check the links in the description for more tips and information about curing high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.